As quoted by historian Romila Thapad, the Gupta period was the golden age of ancient India, marked by a surge in cultural, scientific, and economic advancement that had a lasting impact on the country's development. Let's discover the fascinating story of Gupta Empire. But before that, I welcome you to Sriram's IS, an institute serving the nation since 1985. And yet, if you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon for more informative sessions. Let's experience the golden age of India and be inspired by its brilliance. The rise of the Gupta Empire was a remarkable phenomena that transformed ancient India's political landscape. It was founded by Sri Gupta in the early 4th century CE. The empire ascent was fueled by strategic alliance, military conquest, and administrative reforms. The empire covered a vast area, including Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, and even some part of Afghanistan, with its capital city being Patliputra. Where some notable ruler include Chandragupta I, son of Ghatotkaj Gupta, who married Lichave princess and expanded the empire through matrimonial alliances. And that's why he is also known as the real founder of Gupta Empire. After Chandragupta I, his son Samudragupta is considered as one of the greatest Gupta emperor and known for his title Napoleon of India for his military conquest and administrative reforms. After Samudragupta, his son Chandragupta II further expanded the empire and promoted art, literature and culture. It is to be noted that the famous Chinese traveller Fa Hian visited during his reign only. Later after him, some notable rulers like Kumar Gupta and Skanda Gupta faced several challenges from external invasions often and that become one of the major reasons for their decline also. So overall, the Gupta dynasty was known for their strong leadership and administrative skills, military and expansionist policies, patronage of art, literature and culture, promotion of Brahmanism and Vedic tradition, with that, efficient administrative system and economic policies. Now let's understand the reason why this period was called as Golden Age. The Gupta era saw significant advancement in science, mathematics, literature, art and architecture, philosophy, economy and politics. In science and mathematics, the Gupta made groundbreaking contribution. For example, Aryabhata, a celebrated astronomer and mathematician, discovered zero and developed the decimal system. The cosmos, stars and mathematics perfectly harmonized in an ancient dance. Revolutionizing mathematics, another notable mathematician, Vraha Mir, he wrote the book Panch Siddhantika, which presented the five most astronomical system of the time. The Gupta era also saw significant progress in metallurgy, as evident from the Iron Pillar of Delhi, which has withstood corrosion for centuries. Many literature flourished during this period, with Kalidasa, a celebrated poet and playwright, writing iconic work like Abhigyan Sakuntalam and Meghdoot. The Gupta also patronized scholars and poets, leading to a flourishing of Sanskrit literature. Other notable literary work includes Kama Sutra by Vatsyayan and Bhagavad Gita by Vyasa. After that, the Gupta also developed a unique style of temple architecture, exemplified by the Safta temple in Deogar and Bhitargaon temple, Mahadev temple, which has a square tower of Sikhra also. And their art and architecture, characterized by intricate carving, sculpture, and ornate decoration, the Ajanta Caves in Maharashtra, featuring intricate Buddhist rock cut sculpture, are another example of Gupta artistry. With that, philosophy saw a resurgence, with Adi Sankaracharya revitalizing the Hinduism and establishing monasteries across India. The Gupta patronized scholars and philosophers, leading to significant advancement in Hindu philosophy. The concept of Advaita Vedanta, which emphasized the unity of the individual self and the ultimate reality, emerged during this period only. And it is to be noted that long before Akbar, 
Chandragupta too had Navratna in his court. With that, the Gupta also established a robust economy with trade network extending to Central Asia, China and Mediterranean. They introduced a standardized system of currency, weights and measures facilitating trade and commerce. The Gupta also made significant advances in agricultural sector with the development of new irrigation system and crop patterns. Whereas in political and administrative aspect, the Gupta maintained a stable and efficient administrative system with a strong central government and capable officials. They also expanded their empire through strategic alliances and military campaigns, establishing a vast and powerful empire. The Guptas also patronized education with the establishment of universities like Nalanda and Vikramsila. So with these achievements, it demonstrated the Gupta empire's significant contributions of various fields, earning the reputation as the golden age of India. The Gupta's legacy continue to inspire and influence the Indian culture, making their empire a truly remarkable period in the Indian history. And with that, I hope that you learned and enjoyed a lot from this session. If so, then do press the like button and stay connected with us. Thank you and God bless you all.